everyone. This is Millie with the Octopus. Since Korea confirmed the first case of coronavirus on January the 20th, the total number of infected has reached 7,869 as of March the 12th. At this point, we think it's necessary to present the outbreak with a more interactive visual map. The goal of this video is to show you how to leverage a web scraping and visualization tool to achieve a few fundamental steps of data analytic work. This video consists of two parts. We first use Octopus to extract web data, and then we use Find Report to visualize the data. If you don't know anything about coding, don't worry. We make the video super easy to understand. Let's dive right in. Part one: Data extraction with Octopus. First. We need to scrape updated data about Korea from the CDC. I have attached the data link as well as the crawler file in the description box. Feel free to practice by yourself. Data extraction consists of three steps. Step one, build a scraper task by entering the URL. Step two, click to extract the web data. Step three, execute the scraper task. Sounds easy, right? Well, it's very easy. First, paste the web URL into the box after clicking the advanced mode. Then click Save URL to proceed. It will load the web page in its built-in browser for you to click and extract. Next, click on any table cell and follow the guide that appears on the Action Tips panel. Choose Select All Sub-Elements, then click Select All. Congratulations, we just created a scraper successfully. Last but not least, click to execute a scraper. You can click the toggle button to view the extraction process. As we complete fetching the data, we can export it to an Excel format and use it to create a map visualization. I understand how data can be easily outdated over time, especially for time-sensitive data. At this point, you can take advantage of its scheduler to put your task on autopilot. Part 2. Data Visualization with Fine Report First, click plus button from the menu bar to select and import a file we just collected. And you can inspect its accuracy from the preview window. This is a necessary step that many people are likely to ignore. We're working with the geolocation and the corresponding data. If the fine report can't read the dimension as geographical information, it will fail to create a respective map. Our data looks fine. Let's get our map now. To add a map layer, click Edit. Boom! Your map appears, and it looks great. Now, we need to get a point on the map to demonstrate the level of severity on each geolocation we collected. To do this, click Data to connect case numbers with each geolocation. We still need to make some final tweaks to make it pretty. Change the color and add it format. Then refresh the screen. Now we've created a visualization map to display the outbreak. Besides that, I also create data tables, bubble charts, line charts, and so on. And what I did was to resemble them together into one dashboard. The best part is that we can make this dashboard live by importing the data via an API, and this is achievable with Octopus. If you find this video useful, would you give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel? Thank you so much.